This is Man Maker Mayhem. This is where it all comes together. The most badass workout that you will ever do. We are taking one movement, the Man Maker. We are breaking it down into steps. You will do those steps in the warm up each exercise, and then we're gonna bring it all together with two minutes of a Man Maker. This is a great benchmark workout. It will test your cardiovascular endurance, your strength, your emotional capacity to get all the way through a workout. The best way for you to test your progress is to count the number of man makers you do at the end of the workout and try to beat that number each and every time. So we're gonna go through the warm up and then we're gonna go through each exercise, starting with a front squat, a military press, a renegade row, and then a sprawl. So let's get right into it, the warm up. Now we're gonna mock each exercise with no weight. So our front squat, we're gonna go down and up. Now this is a warm up, slow and controlled. Breathe, get about seven to eight reps. Opening up the hips, good. Last two reps. Now, military press, really squeeze at the top and breathe. You're warming up your shoulders. This is such a huge component and you're keeping your core tight. Now we're gonna go into shoulder taps. So this is gonna mimic a renegade row. So shoulder taps, all you're doing, touching each shoulder. This is, again, gonna warm up your shoulders, keep your core tight. About two more. And the last thing we're gonna do is sprawls. So hop up. Come back down, hop up, come back down. Really pull the power from your hips and explode up. One more and we're gonna go right back through it again. Deep breath, front squats, about seven to eight squats. Now you should be breathing a little bit heavier. That's the purpose of a warm up to get you all the way through. One more, and military press, overhead, breathe. I'm already feeling this in my shoulders. Two more. Now we're gonna go back into shoulder taps. Core tight, shoulders tight, and breathe. Nice job. And last, sprawls. And take a deep breath. And now we're gonna get right into our workout. Take about 10 seconds of rest, grab a little bit of water if you need, shake it off. I'm gonna grab a little bit of water because that warm up did tire me out a little bit and we have a lot of work to do. Deep breath, shake it off, and three, two, one, and go. Breathe. Nice job, keep pushing. About 10 seconds left. Five, three, two, one, and done. Now, take a deep breath, get about 30 seconds of rest. The next exercise we're gonna do is military press. Shake it off when you need. About 15 seconds. Breathe, breathe. Five, four, Three, two, and one. Good push. Really squeeze at the top. Nice. Knees slightly bent. Core tight. If you need a little break, take a deep breath, 10 seconds. Three, two, one, and done. Take a deep breath, grab some water. Next, we will be doing renegade rows. So again, similar to how we started off 
with our shoulder taps. Instead, you are just going to row with one dumbbell at a time. Grab a little bit of water, just like me, if you need it. Key point, each exercise is going into the maker of a man maker. So all and every single exercise that we're doing is for a purpose. So in three, two, one, we're gonna start with renegade rows. And breathe. Now keep your core tight. It's very, very important to keep your core tight. That's gonna keep you stabilized and balanced. If you need to scale down, move the dumbbells out and bring up to the top as if you had a dumbbell, keep your core tight. This is almost like a modified plank as well. It's a little bit harder, about 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, and one. Come up, take a deep breath, 30 seconds of rest, shake it off, shake it off. Grab a little bit of water if you need. Wipe some sweat off. We have about 15 seconds. Now, the next one is a sprawl. So, you're gonna be using the dumbbells as well. Use your hips, pop yourself up. And ready? Three, two, one, and go. tough because this will get tough. You can go to scale down option where you are popping your arms up as if you had dumbbells right by your side as well. Five seconds. Three, two, one, and done. Have about a minute of rest. Again, each exercise we are doing is a key component of a man maker and it will go to helping your overall form and conditioning for the man maker at the end of the workout. So take a deep breath and we'll hit another round in about 30 seconds. Grab a little water. I am exhausted and it's only round one. Look, if you're a beginner and you only get through two rounds, that's completely fine. If you're advanced and you wanna get through three, four or five rounds, let's keep pushing it. It is an exhausting workout, but it is 100% worth it. So the first thing that we're doing is a front squat. Grab your dumbbells in three, two, one, and push. Good. Make sure you hold form even if you're tired. Push, hold form, breathe. Good. Halfway there. Keep going. I know it's tough. Again, scale down option. You need to drop the dumbbells. Continue to work. Continue to work. Five seconds. Three, two, one, and done. Take a deep breath. Grab a little bit of water if you need it. I know I 100% 100% need it. Our next exercise is gonna be military press. So, if I can get my watch to cooperate so it doesn't clip on any dumbbell, shake it off as much as you can. Look, as I'm going through this exercise, I can tell it is an extreme shoulder workout. So, make sure that you're contracting, you're taking a deep breath, and if you have to scale down, scale down, but continue to push yourself. And we're gonna go in three, two, one, and go. Look, these light weights are no joke. You can also alternate at the top, which makes it tougher, or at the bottom. Either way works.
just whatever your preference is, both sides are getting isolated, which means that both shoulders are pushing and exerting the exact amount of force, 10 seconds. Five, two, one, and one point of push, and done. Whew. Take a deep breath, take a deep breath. The next thing that we are doing are renegade rows. So again, grab water, hydration is always, always extremely important. And quick nutrition tip, before you get your workout in, about 30 minutes to an hour, get your carbs in you, get a little bit of protein in you, get some water, get something that's gonna get you pumped up and motivated because if you don't and your nutrition's off, you are not gonna have a great workout. It is the one thing that is getting me through this workout right now and being able to talk to you. So, 10 seconds, get your workout space ready, your dumbbells ready, five seconds, three, two, one, and we are rowing. Now, key point is if you notice my wide base with my legs, this is going to allow me to stay balanced and keep the focus on the row. It is a shoulder movement because my shoulders are keeping me stabilized. Again, if you need to scale down because this gets tough, hold your hands and mimic a row. 10 seconds. Five, two, one, and done. Oh, take a deep breath. As much oxygen in your lungs as you possibly can get and grab water if you need. Look, it might hurt right now, it might be challenging, your body will thank you for it in the long run. I can promise you that. The last thing that we have are sprawls. Grab your weight again. Now, what I've noticed doing the first set of these, these can be tough. Really get some pop with your hips so you can pull the weights up a little bit faster. We're gonna go in five seconds. Three, two, one, and go. Push yourself. Now if you have to scale it down, again, drop the weight. Do not lose pace. Push. Five seconds. Three, two, and one. Deep breath, deep breath. Take about a minute minute and a half of rest, whatever you need. Again, if you can decrease your rest time, decrease your rest time. But the reason why we are taking a minute of rest is to keep our cardiovascular system and our cardio endurance high. We want to make sure that you're burning calories. We want to make sure that you're able to build muscle in the most effective and efficient way possible. And it's also super time effective. So there's no excuse to skip a workout because if you can add 20 to 30 minutes of a workout five days a week, it will work wonders for you. So again, grab a little bit of water. If you need about 15 seconds left, wipe the sweat off. We're going to start with front squats in three, two, one, and go. Breathe the power from your quads, from your glutes. Open up at the top. Keep going. You have to scale down. Again, don't break stride. Push. If you drop the weights, continue to push, even if you have to go a little bit faster. Good. Breathe. Five seconds. Push, weight in the heels, stabilization, two, one, and rest and relax. The next thing doing 
his shoulder press. I'm gonna grab a little bit of water. I suggest that you grab water as well. Also, BCAAs are fantastic intra-workout. Branch chain amino acids, the most broken down form of protein. It will help you have your endurance throughout your workout. Take a deep breath, grab some water. And we're going in five seconds. Four, three, two, one, and military press. Overhead, good. Slight bend in the knees. Again, you can alternate. Make sure your core is tight. You are pushing as hard as you can. This workout is not meant to be easy. Just don't take it lightly. I am sweating and I'm pushing myself. And this is not easy. This is not just for the camera. Good. Keep pushing. Five seconds. Two, one, and done. Good. Deep breath. 30 seconds rest. We're gonna do renegade rows. Grab a little bit of water. The more water that you can get in during your workout, the better your workout's gonna be. So make sure you always have water with you. Make sure you eat something before your workout. It's gonna be a difference maker, a world of a change in your workout. About 15 seconds left to rest. Now, shake it off a little bit. Make sure the blood's flowing. You're not cramping up. It's another thing. Water, you won't cramp up. Five seconds. Three, two, one, and row. Again, wide base, wide base, especially when you're tired. So important to make sure that you have a wide base so you can focus on the task at hand, which is the row. Core extremely tight. Again, scale down option. This is work. This is tough. So continue to push. Do not break stride, even if you're not using the dumbbells. The next time you do this workout, strive to use the dumbbells even more. Five seconds. Three, two, one, and deep breath. Whew. I'm exhausted. I know you're tired, but we're gonna keep pushing. We have one last and final movement before we get into the full man maker. So it's gonna be sprawls. Make sure you grab some water. Again, just because the last movement does not mean it's time to slack off. It's time to push harder. See the finish line? You always, always push your pace. About 15 seconds left, breathe. Cue all the hype music that you need to get through this. Uh, all right, five seconds. Four, three, two, one, and let's go. Push. This is fourth quarter. This is not time to quit or give up. This is time to push yourself as hard as you possibly can. Look, there's a lot of people that told you you couldn't get to this fitness level. This is time to put the doubts aside and to push. Prove them wrong, prove yourself wrong. Be a better person today than you were yesterday. Push, good. Get the scale down, not break stride. Five seconds. Three, two, one, and relax, relax. Woo, this is work, this is work. Now we have three minutes of rest before we get to a full man maker. Now, first, take a deep breath. Get the oxygen back into your system. Take about 10 seconds to just breathe. Nice and easy. Now, for those who've gotten with us through two rounds, awesome job. Let's push to three, four, five next time. For those that are still with us, consistently and continuously push. We have one last final exercise that is going to kick our ass. However, we're gonna go right back at it. Easy, easy. So take a deep breath, grab some water as well. Now, we've mimicked every movement in the man maker. 
So what's about to happen is gonna be nothing that's different. We're gonna go through it. It's gonna be a little bit faster pace. It's gonna be a little bit longer of an interval. It's gonna be about two minutes. So within the two minutes, you wanna push yourself. However, the reality is you might not go the entire two minutes the same pace. You might slow down. You might have to take five seconds of a deep breath. That is completely fine. The point is to push yourself. As I said earlier, is if you count the reps that you do, this is a great, great benchmark exercise. You can count the reps, you can tally them. So next time you go through this exercise, you can see how much more you've done. Uh, this is a great way to challenge yourself. Um, exercise, fitness, it's all about accountability. It's all about making sure um, that you do better today than you did yesterday. So consistently push yourself, make sure you have benchmarks, make sure you're holding yourself accountable. Now for our last minute of rest, I'm gonna show you what a man maker looks, looks like from start to finish. So we're gonna start up, grab the dumbbells here. I'm gonna do it without weight just to show you. Dumbbells here, you are going to drop them down, get down to plank position, push up first, row, row, and then sprawl up and press overhead. That's one full man maker. It'll take about 30 more seconds, deep breath, grab your last bit of water. Again, we are going for two minutes. So if you have to rest, in between, that's fine, but we're gonna push it. About 15 seconds. Get your workout and your workspace ready. Good. Five, four, three, two, one, and let's go. Now, I need a little bit of a rest. It'll take about 10 seconds, get my breath. Again, purpose is to get the most out of this workout that you can. Five seconds for me, two, one, and let's go. Need another rest. That is a killer shoulder workout as well. About 20 seconds left. Let's go. Ten seconds left. Everything we got. One more. And push. Oh, all done. Awesome, awesome job. This was no easy workout. The man maker is not an easy exercise. Look, as I said earlier, this is a benchmark workout. This last man maker exercise is a benchmark exercise. If you push yourself through this, you can push yourself through absolutely any workout. If you enjoyed this program, if you enjoyed this workout, make sure that you go back and do it again. Consistent progress is the best way to reach your fitness goals. Again, check out the Total Body Dumbbell Fix workouts and you will be in great, great shape.